Okay, this Hatchie video is going to show you how to use the Total Etched End Rule inside AllCAD PCB Designer Professional and Allegro. So I've got four nets here that I want to match in length. Um, now these are just system defined uh, net names. You can see they've got an N number. Um, now for me, a quick and easy way for me to find these inside Constraint Manager is I can either just select them all or I can use the assign color. So let's just use the assign color. I can then just go and select the four nets. And then once I go to Constraint Manager, if I go to the, to the electrical rules and the total edge length, if I scroll down the list very, very quickly, you can see I've got these four overriding colors so I can then easily go and uh, apply these into a, into a net class group. So we'll use the control button to select them all, right mouse button, create a net class, and I'm just gonna call these match. Okay, so there's there's the nets that I need. Now, what I want to do is, is actually find out how long these are. So I've got the, but what I need to do is root them first, obviously. So let's just go to the add connect command and we'll manually just quickly just root these four nets. Once that's done, back to constraint manager. Now I want to find out how long these, these tracks are. But I need to turn on the rule first. So if I go to the end, analyze analysis modes, there's the electrical modes, and for the AllCAD professional, there's the, the total length length the differential pair. I'm just going to turn on the total length length, hit apply and OK, <coughs> and then select this match group, do a right mass button and analyze. This will then give me the length of the track. So you can see these are kind of 1184 is the longest, 222 is the shortest. So for me to create a rule for this, I can either just put the minimum values and the maximum values here, or I can actually go and create a rule. So I'm going to create a rule, go to total length length, and we'll do a right mouse button, create an electrical C set called match. Then I need to specify the value. So 1184 was the maximum, so let's make 1200 say, and I want them all to match within 50 thou. I then go and apply that rule to the match. That then gives me some, some green values, so obviously I'm meeting the rule on this longest one, but I'm not meeting the rule on the rest of them. So I then need to go back to constraint mode. You can see the active DRCs have actually come visible as well, so I need to add some delay. So we'll go and add some delay, and we'll use the default delay options and I can then click the net and actually start to add some delay. So you can kind of see this stipple pattern will actually show me when I'm too short. And then this should go back to default when I'm when I'm the right length. And if I get too long, I actually get this stipple pattern again. Click to confirm. And then if we just go to constraint mode, you can see that I've actually updated that value. 